Justin Stanley takes the ride for the Clinton Taylor Stable. Miss Confidant joins them. Now, Roses for Ollie will be the last. Roses for Ollie about to move forward. Goes in. Gate shut, set to go. So a field of six here for the Pioneer Park Kittis Maiden. It's over 1,200 metres. Stutter about to climb the stand. Set to go. Ready. Racing. Jumped in a pretty good line. Cantor dropped back shortly after the break. Roses for Ollie being ridden hard in the early part as the leader on settling. I Magic the second. Cajun Lady third, then Lady Shellac, Miss Confidant, and Cantor's on the inside. Last of the six and only about four lengths off the lead as they settle down and they travel towards the 900. It's Roses for Ollie, three quarters in front of I Magic. Cajun Lady third, they're followed by Cantor, Miss Confidant. Is back second last and Lady Shellac is last of all as they travel past the 600 metre mark. And it's on the inside, Roses for Ollie, a half length in front of I Magic. Two lengths back third, Cajun Lady. They're followed by Cantor. Miss Confidant is back second last and Lady Shellac is back last of all. And about seven lengths off the lead. They travel past the 500 and now I Magic goes alongside Roses for Ollie to go to a narrow lead. Two lengths back third is Cajun Lady. Then three lengths back Miss Confidant. Cantor, Lady Shellac is back last of all. Travelling towards the bend and they've got about 350 metres left to go. I Magic will straighten up. It's two lengths in front of Roses for Ollie on the inside. They're followed by trying to get into the clear was Cajun Lady and Miss Confidant from the back as they get outside the 150. It's I Magic out by three lengths. Cajun Lady second and they're followed by Miss Confidant to the outside but Stanley gives it a couple of the smacks of the whip close to home. I Magic and it's too good. Beat Cajun Lady by three. Third was Lady Shellac and Miss Confidant roses for Ollie. Cantor last of all. I Magic will be the winner. Number six, I Magic, Justin Stanley. Over four, Cajun Lady, John Rudd. One lady shellac. Adam Sewell should be third. Should be six, four, and one. Well, Stanley was able to sit outside the leader, Roses for Ollie. Had a good hole of eye magic and wanted to make sure it run the twelve hundred metres out. And when they straightened up he had a good lead. Cajun Lady had tried hard to get into the clear to give chase, but I Magic had a little bit up its sleeve and was too good for Cajun Lady. With Lady Shellac winding up third. Standing by for the numbers after race three. The cutest maiden plate. Six, four, and one. Six, four, and one, the numbers. And as you can see, the, the track downgraded to a heavy eight, and that's the reasoning. Six, four, and one. Six, four, one, the numbers. And we're standing by for fourth in the margins in time after race number three. Six, four, one, two. Two is fourth. One, 16, dot five, five. 116.55 for the 1200. Two and three quarters by five and a half. Two and three quarter lengths by five and a half lengths. Thanks, Mick. So 116.55, 641 and two the numbers. Two and three quarters by five and a half, 116.55 the time. Congratulations to the connections. I Magic getting the, the full complement of cutest money. Race by J.E. and Mrs. G. Harvey. Three year old filly by Hidden Dragon. Out of Madge, trained by Clint Taylor of Rockhampton, ridden by Justin Stanley, formerly trained by Tony and Maddie Sears in Toowoomba. Now under the Clint Taylor stable in Rockhampton, they get the, the early cutest money, breaking its maiden status as Justin Stanley brings back the winner of race number three. Four second, Cajun Lady, Johnny Rudd for Scotty Rogers. One third.